everybody. How are you? So last week, fives of you came on and said, we like this. We want you to do a video every week. So today's goal, this is three weeks in a row. I just, I need to tell you this. Today's goal is to have tens of you, tens of you comment and say, you want me to do a video. Uh, my name is Julie Salva. You are at Stamp and Shine with Julie Salva. And thank you so much for being here. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator uh, going on 20 years. 20 years I can't even believe it but um, it's been a blast and I love I love being able to see you guys online so I have a project for you today and if this is your first time if this is your first time at Stampin' Shine seeing me live say hi like Carla just did hey Carla um, if it's not your first time then you know what to expect if you're watching it on replay type replay and if you like it invite a friend to watch it but this is what you can expect from me you're, you can expect a project that is quick, easy, and cute. That's what I do. Quick, easy, and cute. Now, I, I'm not going to lie. Today's project is a little more in-depth than some of the ones I normally do. A little bit more in-depth. But I'm like, you know what, Salva? You can do it. And so here I go. So I'm excited to show it to you. So I'm going to pull it up in the catalog. I want to show it to you in the catalog. It comes in the, I still call it a holiday catalog. Now I guess it's the July to December mini catalog. But that doesn't sound as fun as holiday catalog. So I call it the holiday catalog. And it's the Ringed with Nature set. That's the set that I'm going to work with today. Ringed with Nature. Now I'm going to tell you, I got a little bit of inspiration from this card right here. So this card inspired me. I got some inspiration from my friend, Lindsay Mann, and I'm gonna show you the part about um, what she did that inspired me, but I'm gonna work with this set. I love this set because it's versatile. You've got fall, you've got masculine, you've got Christmas. With the house, you could do somebody moving into a new home. You've always got outdoor botanicals, things like that. This is what I learned last week. Last week, okay, so you know we're in celebration, and this might be speaking to you. You may have experienced this grief of last week. So in celebration with Stampin' Up!, if you place a $50 order, you get to choose a free item. Place a $100 order, you get to choose a bigger free item or two of the smaller items and so on and so forth. But last week, one of the items went out. It was like sold out. And people were like, oh my gosh, that's the one I wanted. It was sold out. Well, you know what it was? It was the DSP, that's Stampin' Up! word for um, designer series paper. It was the DSP that matched this set. And people wanted that. Well, good news, we got some more. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to do a project with this set because I think it'll be fun. And all the people who were like, I really wanted the free designer series paper to match it. This might give you an idea. Okay? All right. So are you ready? Are you ready? Drum roll. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to move the camera down. It's going to get you slightly dizzy, just so you know. Consider yourself warned. Okay, move this up a little bit. Go down. Make sure my hands are in a good place. They are. Okay, so right now, I cannot see your comments. Um, I'm assuming that the phone is just going to blow up with like, oh my gosh, I love it. Or I would even take one, yeah, I guess it's okay. That, that would be good. So I would take that too. Anyway, so I'm going to show you the card that we're going to make first. Because you guys told me you like seeing that first. Look at that card. Isn't it pretty? Okay, so here's the thing. It uses mint macaron, which I'm going to tell you what. That is a color I hardly ever use. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. But it uses mint macaron. It uses the Rings of Love set. You know I'm going to have some leaves and some branches sticking out because that's like what I love. And then this is actually from the Coordinating Free Designer Series paper. So let's start making it. Are you ready? So the first thing, as you know, and if you're a new stamper, maybe you don't know. I'm going to make my card. It is cut to five and a half by eight and a half. I'm just going to fold it in half, use my bone folder to get a nice crease, and away we go. The next thing I'm going to do is I want a little bit of dimension, a little bit of texture, a little bit of interest on the card. So what I did is I ran the card stock. I cut a piece down, same color, but I cut a piece down to four by five and a quarter, and I ran it through the timber embossing folder. If you look, I think you can see how it kind of gives that, um, that wood grain effect. I would love to show you the folder. Um, but I can't show you the folder because when I ran it through, I broke it. 
And that was just user error. Listen, if you're here with me, you need to know there is not a mistake I have not made, not one. And many of them I've made publicly. So I am the demonstrator for you if you're like, well, I always mess up. Me too, girl, me too. So don't even worry about it. So I gotta get a new one, but even better news. Stampin' Up! came out with um, some new celebration specials. And guess what one of them is with a $50 order? the timber embossing folder. Can I just tell you that your girl is going to be getting one for free to replace the one she broke? Oh, there you go. Okay, so that's my card base. So I'm gonna set it aside now. Now, if you look at the finished card that I made, I wanna do a couple things with you. The first thing I wanna do is, um, uh, let's do the stamping, okay? Let's do the stamping. I told you that my friend in Canada, it's one of my favorite things about Stampin' Up! Um, is the friends that I make all over the place. But this is my Canadian friend. I actually have more than one, but this is this is the one, the first one. And we met, gosh, I think maybe at a Stampin' Up! Founder Circle, which was an incentive event um, or some, we, we met. And we have become really good friends, kind of cross, cross what is it? Cross border friends, huh? Um, I tease her all the time about Canada being a foreign country. But anyway, I was watching her. She does lives on every Friday. And um, Lindsay Mann, you wanna watch them, very good. And she put three colors of green together that I never would have put together, ever. In fact, I wrote it down, cause I'm like, I, I, I don't know about that. I love it. So the three colors of green that she put together is Evening Evergreen, which is a really deep green. Also another color I rarely use. Parakeet Party, which is a bright, almost, um, I would say lime green, but really almost a neon -y lime green. I do like that color. And then the Mint Macaron, which I've told you I rarely use. But watch how pretty it's gonna be. So I'm going to start with my darker color. I'm gonna set these aside for just a minute. And I'm just using this kind of, um, just put the botanical leaves there. I like it because it, it sort of shows movement. You know, it makes the leaves look a little bit like they're moving. So I think I'm gonna go up in the corner here and then down over here. I love when I stamp. I love to stamp off the paper. Um, I just like the way that it looks. So obviously you can't do it for everything, but you'll see me do that and I do it on purpose. The next, you know what I think I'm gonna do? Hmm. No, I think I'm good. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna close this up because I don't want ink getting all over everything else. By the way, if you remember last week, how horrific my nails were, I told you I was getting them done. They're better. So, okay. Now I'm gonna do a little fern type front. And with that, I'm gonna do the mint macaron. And I'm gonna just kind of put it up in there. And again, I know you're like, Julie, that doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. You're, you're stamping on top of things. I know, okay? But I don't want you to worry about it because it's gonna look super good. You hear that? I, I put like accent on it. It's gonna look super good by the time I'm finished, okay? So I've got that so far. Now, what I'm gonna do, and I know right now, remember when I told you about mistakes? I know someone right now is like, oh my gosh, there's an ink spot right there. I'm gonna fix it, y'all. It's gonna be okay. So, I'm gonna close this up and I'm gonna go to Parakeet Party. But look, those look pretty together. I really like those. And now with this, okay, I'm gonna, it's just a little accent, a little dot accent, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of that around. Now I reserve the right to come back in and add a little bit more if I want to of this one because I've got to get my focal point there. Okay, so that's where I'm at right now. Now I can see, I just told you I couldn't see your comments, but I can sense through the phone that some of you are a little nervous right now. Some of you have come to watch me. You come to my class on Monday nights and Creating for Christ. I teach Bible study there every Monday nights. And, and, and so you're like, oh, Julie, I came to support you, but that, that's not very good. Oh, it's gonna be good. You just have a little faith, my friend. Have a little faith. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go on and put my sentiment. That's important on this project to put your sentiment down first because it's kind of gonna affect the placement of the next part. I did my sentiment in the Evening Evergreen again. I like a nice bold sentiment. I used Thinking of You, but my goodness, some of the other ones in here, there's Merry Christmas, Love and Warmth, Just For You, Happy Anniversary, Get Well Soon. You guys, how versatile is this? Okay, so Thinking of You, boom. 
right there. Oh my gosh, that worked really good. Okay, I mean, that that's like perfectly straight. All right, so there we go. That's where I'm at right now. Now, again, I know that you're, you're, you're concerned, okay? Let's just um, let that concern go because I wanna show you something I learned. So you may or may not know that with designer series paper, again, that's our Stampin' Up! term for fancy paper, we have some dies. Now this die is made, a lot of times our dies are smaller, okay? But this die is made to coordinate with the Rings of Nature stamp set. There are also other dies that I'm gonna show you in a little bit, but watch this. It is designed to not only coordinate with that stamp set, but also to coordinate with the paper. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. I can line up that die. I can run that through the big shot and I'm gonna get five, five of these, um, what are they? Like the wooden wooden um, discs? I, I think about them at the wedding. Matt and Jackie, that's my son and daughter-in-law, they had them as table decorations, but these little wooden discs, I'm gonna get five of them. Now, am I gonna use all five? No, but what I do is I take the ones that I've already done, say I've done some here, and I just put them in the folder with the, with the die. So when I'm ready to create a card, I can just probably, hopefully, pull one out. That's a thing that you're gonna notice. Sometimes some of these newer dies have um, a lot of little pieces. Like with this set, there's a die for the acorn. There's a die for, um, some people turn that into a mushroom. There, there's there's dies for, for all of these, dies for everything. And for me, liking quick, easy, and cute, I'm like, it's too much, it's too much. But then I realized, you know what, since they're small, I can do a bunch of them at the same time and then just kind of set them aside. So when I'm ready to create, I already have a bunch of things already die cut that I can use. So that's kind of my strategy. That's my tip and maybe it will help you too. So all that being said, I have already cut one. It's a little cattywampus, but it's gonna get the job done. Okay, so I've already cut one. This is the one that I wanna use. Watch what is going to happen oh, when I put that there. Look at that. Look at that. Look how it just kind of pulls it all together. See, what we were missing before is a focal point. When you stamp, you always want to have a focal point. The focal point doesn't have to be something really hard. It's just something that draws your eye in. So when I put this here, it pulls it all together. Now, of course, I'm not just going to, to just glue it there. I've got a little bit of, of bling action getting ready to happen. So I have, remember how I told you I do um, some die cuts already? Well, I did um, this branch with the leaves, and then I'm gonna take this one, which is a little bit different, okay? This one is more um, more branchy than leafy. I am making words up as we go, and I was an English major, so. But I'm gonna use these two. Now, if you watched me last week, what do you know about Julie Salva? I love a leaf. I mean, in fact, I had to look at this card and make sure that, like, I wasn't, um, gonna be like, um, I go that way, like it, that it didn't look too much like some of the other ones I've done with leaves because there's, there's a distinct danger of that, but I think it's going to be okay. So I'm going to just kind of put this one here. Let me get it to touch that adhesive. There we go. And then I'm going to put this one down on this end. I do it because I like a little bit of dimension there. Okay. I think, I, I just like how that looks, but I'm not done because I want to do something. And this, remember I told you that this design inspired me? Well, the thing that inspired me is that little heart. I thought that is so cute. So I actually have the heart and I have my sweet sorbet. Do you, yeah, I do. I have my sweet sorbet ink pad and I'm just going to put a little pop of color Make sure I'm, I'm lining it right where I'm on it. Yep. I put a little pop of color right there in the middle of that tree ring. Okay. So when you see I'm thinking of you, there's a little heart there that kind of shows love. And to me, you know what? Okay, I'm not going to do it in front of you. But what I might do later, how cute would it be if I took like one of our black Stampin' Right markers and put a J and an M there. Because then it could be, remember how you used to engrave things into trees? I could have J hearts M, Julie hearts Mark, J hearts M, Jackie hearts Matt. 
or anything else I wanted to. So that might be cute. I'm going to play around with that. All right, back to the project. Back to the project. I digress. I'm going to grab some dimensionals. I'm going to actually, I want to pop this up. Okay, I want to pop it up. So put a dimensional there, there. Some people use a lot of dimensionals. I've, I've noticed that. I normally use three, but, um, but I'm not scared to use more. I'm not scared of the dimensional. Let's pop that there. Okay, here we go. Here, maybe. here we go. And, oh, it's so cute. Okay, I, I, I want the thinking. See, again, y'all, don't be scared when you put something down. Don't be scared to maneuver it, manipulate it a little bit. It's not going to be a problem. Okay, I got that right there. Okay, now I'm going to tell you. Remember how I told you I reserve the right to go back in and add a um, parakeet if I want to? Little thing. I actually kind of think there's a blank spot here. Okay, I'm going off script, guys. Going off script, I'm pulling the stamp set out. Let's see what I can grab to fill that in. Here's the stamp set. Hmm. Okay, I think I got it. I think I'm gonna take this one. It's just another botanical. I think I wanna do a little bit, another little tiny bit of the, um, the Evening Evergreen. So let's see what happens. If I mess it up, I mean, hold, hold your breath. Okay, hold your breath, because if I mess it up, that's what happens when you go off script, but that's okay. All right, I'm gonna pull this joker up right here. I just really want the leaves, so I'm okay. Oh, that's good. Okay, one more thing, one more thing, because it's still a little bit whatever, but I, I have a solution. Oh, you guys are gonna love it. There's a, a, a leaf, just a plain leaf here. See, this is why I love sets like this because I kind of got a lot of options for fixing mistakes. Okay. I'm going to put that leaf right there. Okay. I'm pleased. I'm pleased. I think it needed that. I think it needed a little bit of extra of the evening evergreen there pulling through. Okay, so that's my focal point. Let's put everything together because we're almost done. Told you, quick, easy, cute. It didn't take a lot of time, did it? And I do have a mat here. Here it is, here. I cut from cake. Let me tell you the dimensions of this piece, okay? This piece right here is three by four, all right? I like easy measurements. That's part of my quick, easy, and cute scheme. Um, the, when we do eighths and sixteenths with cutting, it's gorgeous, but it's just, it's not for me. How many times do I have to tell you? What did I major in? If you're screaming English right now, you would be correct. Um, precision is not where I shine. <laughs> okay, so I matted that on the crumb cake. And now, remember our card right here with the timber? Can you see how it's all going to pull in together? I'm going to pop this up again with dimensionals. And this one I'm going to use for, I don't know, I guess just all on my edges and stuff. Okay. Oh, that one didn't come off. All right. I'm going here and get away, dimensional piece. Get away. Oh, it's so cute. It is so cute. You guys, look at that. Isn't that cute? There's only one thing that would make it cuter. What is it? If you said champagne basic jewels, you would be correct. Champagne rhinestone basic jewels. Love them. Okay, so I'm going to get my little, y'all, what is this called? Um, my Stampin' Pick. I know it's a pick, but it's other things too. My Stampin' Pick tool. Can we name it? Julie's Picker. That's what we're going to call it. Julie's Picker. Now, if you have watched me before, you know that there is one thing that I tell you. And that one thing is that we want odd numbers, okay? We want odd numbers. So I've got three jewels on there, but if three is good, I think five could be better. <gasps> I think it could. Boom. Okay. Oh, you guys. I love that card. I really do. It's soft, but it's so pretty, so pretty. So 
Let me bring the phone up because I want to show you guys some other things. Okay, take a pic. Thank you, Carol. Thank you. I, I gotta say though, I do kind of like Julie's picker. That's what I'm, I'm gonna, it's Julie's picker. Okay, so I've got a couple things that I want to show you. Hey, Barbara, that, see now I can see comments. Ah, Jennifer, those brass butterflies are so amazing. So amazing. I didn't like them at first. I was like, I don't think I'm gonna like them, but I do. So, hello, Angela Mice, how are you? So, that's the card that we just made. You'll notice again, the timber background, it's kind of dry embossed there that I broke my folder, so I gotta get another one. Thank goodness it's free. I used some of the DSP, uh, Ring with Nature DSP, but I wanna show you some other cards made with this set so you can see. Okay, so this one, I hope it doesn't have a shine. I didn't take it out of the folder. This one I got in a swap. Look how pretty that is, okay? This was made by Kathy Schaefer, Kathy Schaefer. And she lets the paper do the talking on this card, and I love that, very pretty. Um, this one, also from a swap by Mary Ann Rositer. Rositer, Rositer, something. Um, but she actually combines two celebration choices. She's got the paper, the Ring with Nature paper, and then she uses um, the, oh gosh, awesome phrases maybe for the hey good looking part, which I think that's a great phrase anyway. And then the last one that I want to show you, this one uses more of the dies that I told you about. How cute is this? This is by Kathy Trudell. I got this in a swap as well. See, she's made the little mushrooms here. She also has her her leaf accents there. She has done two of the um, the wooden pieces. And, and in fact, um, I'll show you how to do that next time. She's done some stamping, tone-on-tone -tone stamping in the back. So I really think that's cute too. So again, such a versatile set. Let me show you. I'm leaning over here to grab. By the way, I'll flip over so you can see her. There's a pretty girl. She's up here. She's been with me all day, helping me create. And those boxes in the back, those are things that I'm going to sell because I'm going to have an online BOGO. Say hi, Fiona. She doesn't have time for you. I'm so sorry. Okay. Um, this is my paper that I've been working with, the designer series paper. Many of you have already seen it. I'll show you some of my favorite pieces. Those birds, stunning, stunning. Um, I love the wildflowers. And the back of the wildflowers, that really pretty plaid. Also love that. Um, remember how I told you the dies can be used? There's some dies for houses. Okay. Um, oh, this is pretty. Here's your paper you would want to use for Christmas. Love that. And then on the back, you've got just branches. So, oh, and oh my gosh. You guys, I just keep buying more. It's a beautiful fall. Look at that if you're going to do something with fall. Yeah, Jennifer, you were snubbed by the dog. You were. I'm sorry. And, <laughs> um, and I've shown you the houses already. So, again, this stamp set, and I'll put all this stuff in the comments. This stamp set, if you don't already have it, is the Ringed with Nature stamp set. I would get the bundle so you can get the dies with it when you get the stamp set in the bundle. What are you going to get for free? You're going to get the DSP for free. And if you add a little bit of adhesive and a couple more things in there, you know what else you're going to get for free? You're going to choose that timber embossing folder so that you can do that as well. So what do I have coming up? I have next Thursday, we're going to go for four in a row um, of my Let's Stamp Live. I'm gonna, let's come up with a name for it. Those of you who have been here since the beginning, like Jennifer, we got to come up with a name for this, something catchy, something. So let's think on that. But I'm going to be back. And um, I have a technique class coming up. If you're local to Nashville. Yeah, Jennifer, you get the embossing folder too. Um, if you're local to Nashville, I have a technique class coming up August 20th. If you're on my email list, you're going to get the information on that. If you're not local, I think I'm going to do a live um, teaching some fun techniques. I've been researching and I have found quick, easy, and cute techniques that are going to wow people. So I think you'll like that. Um, the Creating for Christ class was just released today. That is a, a class to go. What that means is you sign up for it and then you receive the kit to make the projects with a full tutorial um, and you'll receive that. Here's a tip, guys. The tutorial is free. Regardless of your faith background, we have, and I, I do Creating for Christ with my, my friend Rhonda Wade, we have about five years of tutorials in there. Julie's creative spot, that's good, Jennifer. 
But we have about five years of tutorials in there and you can adapt them to whatever you want them to be. All the tutorials are free. So join that group. I think that, um, I think you would enjoy it. I think you'd like it. Uh, but anyway, you have an option to purchase a kit if you want to. And so that just came out. So, so that's what's coming up guys. Um, Thank you for popping in. I have used enough of your time. I try to keep this kind of short and sweet too because I know um, you guys are busy. You guys are busy. But hey, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate you. And um, if I don't see you before, I will see you next week at 2 o'clock Central Time here at, right now, Jennifer has said Julie's Creative Spot. We're going to see. But I'm going to have my pick with me. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.